hello everyone welcome back to my channel on this tutorial i will show you how you can use the stable diffusion 3.5 model which was released this week by stability ai we, we don't only have a large model but also have a turbo version and a goof model which consumes less vram if you go to their website it is said that this model was trained at, at 8 billion parameters with superior quality and good prompt adherence and it is also the most powerful model for in the stable diffusion family so it should be something very interesting for the turbo version it is said that we can create images at only four steps and if you scroll down you can see the quality of the created images using this model but also we can observe that it has good prompt adherence compared to the flux model and a good score for the aesthetic quality of this generated images so today we will try to test out this model together and we will see if it has a good image quality as they said okay first of all we need to download all this model in order to use it more easily to do that you can find all the necessary link under my description or you can use directly those link on the on my workflow let's start with the large turbo version if you scroll down here you can see the model and it weighted 16.5 gigabyte just click download next go to the second link and here you can find the other large version it is also weighted 16.5 gigabyte so make sure to download it too you will also need the vae decode file so to download it just enter this file here download this file it is not weighted too much then make sure to rename it to something very easy once it is downloaded go to your comfy y root folder enter model on the checkpoint here just make sure to copy the sd3 large turbo and the large version then don't forget to copy the vae and don't forget to rename it after that we need to uh, to download the goof version here you can clearly see that we have a different version which was created by this city 96 which is the king of the goof models not only for sd 3.5 but also for flux so here you can find different q version of this model on for my case i tried this q5 version and it is weighted 6.3 gigabyte and the purpose of using gof model is to use less vram for the low graphic card users so it should be very interesting for uh, most of people here okay once you download your file go to confuy root folder again go to model and search for units here just make sure to pass your model and just go open confuy then just open up confuy go to manager and make sure to update Comfy UI in order to use those uh, models. Once the update is done, you will also need to update the Goof nodes for the Goof model. Just go Custom Node Manager on the search bar, type in here Goof model, and make sure to update it. Then close your Comfy UI and restart. For the workflow, you can use directly their provided workflow here. Just make sure to download it, then grab it. On Comfy UI interface here we have the same for the turbo version which is quite different uh, compared to the large version and for the goof model you will need this unit loader but for those of you who want to use the same prompt I use for this tutorial and download and use my workflow directly where here I put in a group of nodes where you can uh, where you can upload the model directly so switching from the unit loader and the checkpoint loader and it is a very simple and classic workflow here we have our trip clip loader this time where you will need the clip g the clip l and the t5 xxl in order to have this prompt adherence then here we have our empty latent image for this model don't forget that it can only generate good images at this resolution otherwise the results will be very bad so it is one of of the disadvantage of, of this 3.4 version then here we have the key sampler at default you will found this setting steps of 13 cfg scale of 5 
but for greater results i strongly suggest you to increase the steps to 14 and also don't forget to use this load vae since uh, the classic uh, the default workflow provided by stability ai use directly this vae that are included in the model but using this sd3 vae give me better results compared to the included one i also included an upscaler notes where uh, which is very useful and powerful tool since it is using flux turbo model that allows you to, to have a good quality of images in short amount of time if you want to know if you want to know more about this upscaling process you can check my other video okay now we have the results for our sd 3.5 large version and turbo version and you can clearly see that the large version is more impressive compared to the turbo version for the turbo version the image looks very saturated and the quality is not really there however the large version seems to add more details and the image looks very impressive compared to this large version but we still have an issue with fingers and body proportion as you can see with these images that i only used a simple prompt of a woman or man holding a sign with text on it the text seems to be very good however the anatomy and the fingers quality doesn't look so much good so we are still having this issue with this stable diffusion models for the goof model you can clearly see that it is the best model for this sd3.5 image generation it adds more details and the quality looks very realistic compared to the large or the turbo one so i strongly suggest you to use this goof model for this sd3.5 now let's talk about the generation time for the large and the turbo model the generation time was very huge However, for the SD3.5 GOOF model, the generation time was equal to the Turbo 1, but it gives us better quality compared to the large model. We can clearly affirm that this GOOF model is the best among all these 3.5 SD models. And if we compare to the Flux GOOF Turbo model, the generation time is less, is less important. However, the quality seems practically the same. So according to my test, this SD3.5 version is not as good as Flux models for now. Since the Flux model has good quality of images, the body anatomy is always good and the generation time was clearly improved compared to the first day. Since we can achieve low generation time equal to 1 minute with my RTX 3060 6GB of VRAM. And this is very profitable for uh, users or AI artists that uh, has a lot of work since they can use flux model to obtain good quality in a short amount of time okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me leave me some comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other tutorial videos